going? We'd all like to know. Curious George visits a catsup factory. Guess where we're going today, George, said the man with the yellow hat. I'll give you a hint. It's where they make something. What could it be? Candy? Shoes? T-shirts? It's ketchup, said the man. The ketchup factory is having a party for my friend, Mrs. Tonelli. She is getting a gold watch because she's worked there for 20 years. So off they went. Mrs. Tonelli greeted them at the factory. She seemed upset. Mr. Green can't find my gold watch, she said. Without a watch, there won't be a party. I'm going to help look for it, said the man with the yellow hat. Hey, you can look too, George, but don't get into trouble. George looked around. A truck was driving in with red, ripe tomatoes. What were the tomatoes for? George was curious. He hopped onto the truck, and his foot stepped on something squashy. George flopped into the pile. He was covered with tomatoes. Meanwhile, the driver lifted the back of the truck. The whole load of tomatoes were poured into a large tub, and George was poured into it, too. The tub was moving into the factory towards a conveyor belt with bottles on it. The bottles were being filled up with ketchup. Tomatoes were being crushed to make the ketchup. George had to get out in a hurry. He jumped out of the tub and landed on the other conveyor belt. The belt carried him into the fill-up room. As he jumped off, his foot knocked over one of the bottles. Bottles fell everywhere. Everything was covered with red stuff. What a mess. Mr. Green, Mrs. Tonelli, and the man with the yellow hat came running over. Stop the machines, cried Mr. Green. Who made that mess? They looked around, but no one was in sight. Not even George. I never saw anything like this, said Mrs. Tonelli. Then she discovered something way up high. Something yellow and shiny. It was the gold watch. It was caught on the moving belt. Now I remember, said Mr. Green. I left the watch on one of the belts. I forgot about it when I started it up. If only we could find George, said the man with the yellow hat. He could climb up there and get it. There was George swinging from belt to belt. He was having a wonderful time. There he is, cried Mr. Green. Hey, George, shouted the man with the yellow hat. Make yourself useful. Climb over and grab Mrs. Tonelli's watch. Hurry down so we can start the party, cried Mrs. Tonelli. It was easy for George. He swung along the conveyor belt and picked up the watch. All the workers at the party cheered when George came in with the watch. Mrs. Tonelli cheered loudest of all. We'll forget about the ketchup mess, George, said Mr. Green. You sure have made up for it. Then George presented Mrs. Tonelli with her watch. Everybody clapped. She felt very proud. And now I have something for you, George, said Mr. Green. It was a whole case of ketchup. What a great reward. He had enough for a thousand hamburgers. <laughs>